Hi everyone, welcome to my video, my top 10 spring outfits. I'm gonna show you the looks put together fully, but then also throw in some essentials that I think are key. I'll be including some pieces from Topshop and Zara and H&M and some misguided bits as well. I don't really wanna comment on coronavirus much. I feel like we're getting it from all angles. I just want to say that I'm acknowledging it. Um, and I'm very sorry that everyone's in the position that they are in now. Hopefully this video just gives a bit of light relief from what's going on. As usual, please do like this video and subscribe. We are growing, we are growing, <laughs> but I couldn't really grow my channel without you guys watching it and liking and commenting and subscribing. Also, if you feel like there are any size 16, 18 gal friends that you have that you think my videos could help in terms of like styling and fashion inspiration, all that kind of thing, then forward my channel onto them. So this first one is a black jumpsuit from Misguided. I had never ever tried Misguided denim before. Decided to do like a big kind of haul in probably about November time. Was so impressed. So this is an 18, quite hard to show you, but you'll be able to see better in the cutaways. And I absolutely love it. The fit is phenomenal. If you're like me, like a 16, 18, I'm five foot 10. It's so hard to find a jumpsuit that fits and is comfy and is affordable, that washes and then comes out exactly the same size as it was before. This ticks all of those boxes. It's slightly on the pricier side. I think this one's about 40 pounds, but I loved it so much. I've got it in a blue. Um, I have the blue and the black. So yeah, this one's an 18. The blue one is a 16 and I'd say it fits better. So I'd say stay true to your size. Um, but it's just great. It's got a little tie here in the middle and sometimes I'm worried with boiler suits like swamping me but this one creates so much shape because of the tie and I like to fold up the bottoms just to show a bit more ankle so there's a little bit more flesh on show and wear it either with some bright white trainers or you can even wear it with heels. Black stilettos would look so cool with this and then you just switch up your like day handbag for a little night clutch or something. It's great. Very hard to show but it's a really really good one. Why am I looking so pale still? I think I need to turn this down again. Also, I just wanted to do a shout out to this Chloe bag. So it's C by Chloe, and I've just used it in the black jumpsuit outfit. I wanted a little bag like this that could fit enough stuff, but not too much stuff. Because if I have a big bag, then I'm going to carry around a lot of stuff and it will be heavy anyway. But the gold hardware on this is so nice. And because it's C by Chloe, which I've heard is like the Armani exchange to Armani. But if you're looking for a little bag like this, I think this is really good for summer and winter as well. And it just has a strap like this. I love it, so affordable and looks way more expensive than it actually is. And it's still a designer and it's classic, so it will just not go out of fashion. Also, whilst you're there on styling accessories, I know this is just a bit higgledy-piggledy, but like I wanted to do kind of 10 outfits, but also shout outs to some staples. I picked up these Kurt Geiger shoes. They're a bit scuffed already. I've worn them a couple of times. They are so plain and bright white and exactly what I wanted. There's only this tiny little logo in like a gold foil on the back. And this is like a kind of uh, velvety kind of felt type texture. Um, they're really good, give you a couple of extra, I'd probably say that's about an inch heel actually, so it gives you a little bit of extra height, but they go with everything, and I never really realised how much I wanted them for spring outfits until I was styling this video and reaching for them nearly every single time, they are great. You have to, have to, have to, have to size up, I'm usually a size 7, I just about fit into these size 8. Number 2 is my outfit with my cream blazer, you cream blazers you can style in so many different ways. I personally styled it in autumn with a red lip and a white t-shirt, I'll put a picture here, and I loved the way it looked. There's something about the white and cream clashing which I actually really liked and I thought it looked quite high end. I think cream blazers just shout spring so much and summer as well. They're great if you're going to like a wedding and you don't know whether you're going to be slightly chilly in the evening, you just take a blazer like this just to throw on or you can just dress up a simple like white t-shirt jeans outfit. You can do it with any t-shirt pairing and it just massively like elevates a very plain look with just a t-shirt and jeans like we all have honestly try this i absolutely love it i'd get it slightly oversized because it's nice to have that boyfriend fit and i think the boyfriend fit takes it away from looking a bit too officey but it's a cream jacket there's something just so understated but very I'm here, I've arrived, like, because it's such a bright colour, you are drawing attention to yourself. Next, I want to talk about this midi skirt, silk midi skirt from H&M. It's like a really, really dark navy with kind of cream coloured spots on, um, and it's this satin finish. 
um i've got this one in a size large i'll put all the sizes below for everything that i've tried on in the um, video as well but i've never really done like the midi skirt and trainers thing for spring i just always thought it was a very like slim girl look and then i tried it on and i actually really liked it it's so flattering as well because it's so long it um it kind of hides a lot of parts that sometimes you're not really super confident about showing off um, and also the fact that it's loose means that it's really airy so on those hotter days it's really nice but what I did when I was in Paris was um, took a pair of tights around with me and then just slipped on some tights when it's getting a bit cold you can actually wear this through all seasons because it's so easy to kind of dial up and dial down depending on the temperature really really rate this and um, I know I've put this on my Instagram a few times and loads of people ask where it's from I'll put some pictures up of how I styled it recently when I was in Paris for colder weather as well but yeah for spring like white t-shirt some white trainers and a leather jacket I think this would be really cool okay white jeans again I haven't been restricting these to just spring wear I bought these these top shop white jeans I probably bought them in like November and was always thinking that curvy girls can't wear white jeans um, I'll actually link below a white jeans curvy styling video I did on my Instagram that's quite fun the denim's quite stiff then I will go up and do a size 18 so I'll get a waist 36 length 34 um, but where I have like a slightly stretchier jean like the Jamie Black skinnies that I live in they are 34 34 um, but yeah so this is a 36 30, 36 34 and I just think the color is so springish I'm so excited to just like roll the bottoms up and wear it with just like a cute little t-shirt and some sandals or my absolute favorite pairing is to wear it with a, um, a denim shirt a blue denim shirt either light blue or dark blue I think it's so simple but so chic it's very like I don't know why it just reminds me of London style the kind of spring accessory I just wanted to throw in there were these snake boots I'm pretty sure that these are sold out I um, I picked them up when I did my collab with Topshop um, but I'll link some similar ones below I feel like I don't have a lot of patterned outfits so I really reach for patterning when oh through my accessories even wearing like the this grey cashmere jumper with some white jeans with some snake boots it just throws in a tiny bit of detail there and just changes the outfit from being kind of plain to um, looking quite put together in my opinion so snake boots are great um, I also think that these would look really cute with kind of like a plain white dress as we go into hotter months and it becomes summer I love wearing white dresses in summer but sometimes I think it can look like verging on bridal just having something like this that just kind of roughs it up and throws it off looking Looking to um, walking down the aisle is quite cool love snake boots moving on I styled up this shirt in a way that I wanted it to kind of be like Friday work outfit but kind of dress down and then if we're going out for drinks afterwards you don't look too formal but I absolutely loved this shirt this is a print that Zara have repeated across a few styles just because it's been so popular I think that color is so flattering especially when you have a tan once I fake tan and put this on, it's so nice with some gold jewelry like these ones. This is all Missima I'm wearing, by the way. But this with just some jeans and some white trainers, I think help takes away it looking too formal. It's really floaty. It just sits very well. It's got cuffs and it's just such a nice shirt. It's so nice to have like a really informal pattern on a formal style. I think that works quite well when you're wanting to dress something up or dress something down. I do think you could wear this to work on normal days if you just dressed it up with some like black kind of suit trousers and black stilettos. I think that would look really chic. Or you can just dress it down. I tend to dress this one down just because I don't have an office job. But um, this, I also love this with the white jeans that I showed earlier. I think the khaki, khaki and white is like another favourite pairing of mine um, during spring. Speaking of black blazers, I just wanted to give a shout out to my Topshop one. You can't really see it. Um, that's a bit better, but it needs an iron. However, ooh, lighting is being very strange. It's just got this really nice satin lining. It's very oversized, which I love. And I think actually going forward, I will always size up in my jackets and coats because I like that oversized fit. And also it means that you can do a bit more layering underneath and it doesn't look too tight. I have a couple of 16 coats and in my opinion now, they're just a bit tight. I prefer an 18 oversized look. Um, I also like it long length. Oh, this is actually top shop tall. So if you are, I'd say if you're over five foot eight and you do like that oversized blazer look, definitely don't miss out the tool section in top shop because it just fits so much nicer. Um, I like rolling up the sleeves just to make it a bit more casual. But yeah, this again with some 
like a white t-shirt and some blue jeans and some black heeled boots I usually put it with and that's like one of my go-to casting look shout out to my Celine's these are totally 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 impossible to get hold of now which I know is so annoying but I love the shape and I love the colorway they're ever so slightly cat eye and they have this tortoise shell it's like a faded tortoise shell here that just fades up into black here I've seen so many more affordable dupes if I can find the originals, which I haven't been able to in about six months, I try and I try and I try. Um, I will link some incredibly similar dupes below. I think ASOS are doing a few pairs as well. And the thing about glasses are like, this is the first pair of designer glasses I've ever had. And actually, I know that these are going to get broken or lost and I'm going to cry so much because they're irreplaceable. So I think sometimes going for more affordable glasses isn't the worst thing ever. But a pair of glasses changes a look so much. Um, and I think the bigger they are, sometimes people think you're famous. Like the more I try and put my head down in public and I wear these, I get so many looks. So these ones are from, these ones are from ASOS. I will link these below. And they are like the classic kind of Ray-Ban style book without the Ray-Ban price tag, but they are so comfortable. They are so light. And I think the lighter that glasses are, the less they dig in here and make that makeup mark. Um, but they are so comfortable. If you have a slightly bigger head, which I kind of have learned through the years that I do, then um, these are fab. And if I am wearing silver hardware, I'll wear the Celine's. And if I'm wearing gold, then I will wear these. Hopping back on over to Camp Jumpsuit. My God, this needs an iron. It needs an iron so badly. But this one is from H&M again. I can't believe I find jumpsuits that fit me. I think it's really, really rare. And you can zip this up either to the top um, or you can make it a little bit more sexy and seductive and show off a bit of cleavage. I wore this to my birthday and it was comfortable, chic, and I just loved it. I'll put some pictures here of me wearing it. Again, it's another one that you can just wear with like white trainers, very casual, or you could probably go out in heels. Like I wore this with black leather boot heels, um, which I will link below. Again, they're another staple. Especially if I'm going to model castings, I'm always in my black boot leather heels. Um, but this is great. Um, again, it's got a waist tie. It zips all the way down to, I guess, quite low. Um, and the bottoms are turned up as well. There's some little detail on the cuff here. Very kind of affordable and cheerful. Try this on in H&M and I just had to get it straight away. It's also still in stock, which is great. It's probably been in stock for about six, seven months, so it must be a popular item if they just keep on replenishing the stock. And yeah, I just wanted a kind of utility, military, cargo-y, khaki jumpsuit. <laughs> Back in with the denim, I do have quite a low-key fetish for denim. Is the sun gonna go away? A black denim jacket from Misguided. Again, just another great layering piece. I find like jackets and blazers. We have a few weeks in spring where we can wear them and a few weeks in autumn and that's kind of it. Um, if it's really hot in summer, then it's just nice to throw over your shoulders. Sometimes you can still wear them. Winter, I wouldn't go near a denim jacket. They kind of remind me of like London when we were single and going out and having fun and like hanging out to Shoreditch House and the Ned. And <laughs> we'd always, um, so basic, would always have uh, a denim jacket just like thrown over it for wearing like a white kind of summery dress or even double denim I think it's really cool and because this is black it's so much easier to pair with a blue denim jean I do like doing the blue jacket blue denim jean but I know it's a bit much for some people so a black is really um, a good way to go again misguided just phenomenal phenomenal fit and I really wasn't expecting it I'm a very much a t-shirt and jeans gal if you haven't got that by now I like my basics um, and then just like kind of elevating with a couple of either jewelry or glasses or a nice bag or a clutch or a, like a funky pair of shoes but otherwise I just like to keep it quite plain so black denim jacket is a really good essential also um blue mum jeans really hard to find if you're curvy these are Topshop again I just feel like I go back to Topshop for my denim all the time they are really good fit for me um these are a 36 waist 36 length 34 so a size UK 18 very very comfortable I really like the wash it's not too much acid wash um and I think it's that kind of blue that actually goes really well with black so I love wearing this with a black leather jacket or a black tux jacket like the one I just showed you and some black boot heels because these have a raw hem. Now, I'm not massively into distressed denim. This is probably as distressed as I would go, but I actually really like the way this distressed denim sometimes hangs over like a boot heel. I think that kind of 
the boot heels make these not too casual and then these make the boot heels not too formal if you know what I mean like they're a really good mix to put together again with just a white t-shirt and then like leather jacket tux jacket um slightly big around the waist I would say but that's kind of the theme with me I have a small waist and very big hips um problems so I, I pretty much always need to belt my jeans. I'll link my belts below as well. I always get asked about them. I think those are Topshop as well. Like I'm just, didn't you don't realize like what kind of clothes and brands you're into until you put together something like this. And you're like, actually everything is nearly Topshop and H&M. A few Zara pieces um, and then yeah, the misguided stuff, which again, if you haven't checked it out, annual curvy, I really, really like them. I really like them. And I think they do a curve range as well. Okay, we're on to number eight, a white linen shirt. So classic. I mean, I'm not thinking about just spring for this. This is great for holidays. You can get them oversized. This is actually from M&S, and I think they go up to a size 22. I personally like going up a size in um, linen shirts. I just think they look really cool when they're more of a relaxed fit than fitted. So if you wanted to go super oversized in the M&S ones, you can. 100% linen, incredibly affordable. Like I just, I, I'm only 28, but I can feel myself getting more and more keen on the M&S stuff. I went in a few weeks ago and I, there was like quite a few things that I wanted to pick out. So yeah, just coming away from all that kind of like fast fashion and body con and, very heavy makeup kind of looks and just more towards all the kind of I don't want to say mumsy but just classic stuff you know they're really renowned for their linen shirts they're really good quality they wash really well um, this one even has a hole in it because it's been worn so much but I don't mind I, I need to get another one I need to get another one and they do so many different colors as well if you want some very affordable good quality linen M&S is where it's at but yeah this with a pair of jeans I think is really classic like if I was going for kind of oops if I was going for like a kind of Sunday barbecue, I think that'd be really nice or just anything on a Sunday, like meeting your boyfriend's parents for the first time. I think a white linen shirt is just a classic no brainer. It's just very plain and everyone kind of gets along with it. Really like these shirts. Okay, these are really scuffed and worn, but I wanted to show you anyway. I need to polish these. So these are actually from Office, but I know and other stories do a really good dupe. They're obviously the dupe for the Gucci loafers so comfortable like sometimes I even wear them around the house as slippers but I think these are really lovely for they can be quite dressy or they can be quite casual and very comfortable and I just can't ever imagine spending that amount of money on a pair of like flat designer shoes that's just not very me so I saw these tried these on they are so comfortable the more you wear them they just get so comfortable like the leather is so soft so malleable and once these are all shiny and like new looking again they'll look really really nice like the denim jacket you only really have a very short period of the year where you can wear a leather jacket it's too cold in winter sometimes and if you have quite a tight one like i do it makes it difficult for layering but then it comes to summer and it's just way too hot to wear unless you throw it over but then it's more of an accessory rather than wearing it spring is the perfect time to whack this little bad boy out he's one of my expensive purchases it's the all saints jacket i knew i wanted it for years i saved up and saved up um and then i was finally able to afford it i think it's around 400 pounds really good quality leather very bad quality vegan i think i probably own really about five leather pieces in my whole wardrobe and um an all saints leather jacket is just one of those that i really wanted i love the silver hardware on this they haven't spared the details there's so many little like this little popper thing and then on the collar you have all of this detail zip going down there's two pockets here so that's what i'm talking about like there's just a lot of detail and then it's got this little belt thingy which i really love it's such a wearable leather jacket but it still looks so authentic definitely worth buying it smells amazing the leather is really buttery buttery soft and then it's got this kind of i think it's like a cotton lining um but that's comfortable as well oh and it just looks cool i call it like the ultimate model staple because i feel like so many models when we go to castings, everyone has one of these jackets. They're just very cool, very sandy from Greece. An ever classic and you only get a couple of weeks of the year where you can actually properly wear this. So spring is that time. Last but definitely not least, I've chosen my little double denim look. It's just a classic. I think it makes you look more stylish than you actually are. It's such an easy way to look trendy in my opinion if I haven't sound like a mum enough this video talking about M&S and jean fits and stuff. Now a way to look trendy. But this is, um, again, misguided. This is part of my misguided denim haul. This is just a little button up denim shirt. 
just again oversized this is a size 16 i think it will be really helpful if i just put all the sizes below so i'll try and remember to do that i'll write that down now but yeah again this is just really cute you can also throw this over a summer dress if you have any kind of like pastel summer dresses and you just want to maybe like roughen it up or maybe just have another layer for when it gets a bit cooler if you're not comfortable wearing it with like another blue denim i personally love it with like a blue denim and like a suede kind of mini tonka boot that blue blue tan on the bottom i think it's really cool to wear this shirt with white jeans like i showed earlier or you can pair it with um black denim i personally love it with the white mom jean i think it's really cool and i know that darker colors are technically slimming but there's something just light and bright about having all these pastel colors blue and white is just so nice together and yeah this is just just another essential really so thanks very much for tuning into my video i'll put all the links down below as well as sizes i also have my social links down there and you can shop all of my outfits on my like to know it profile i'll put the link down there that has like everything i've ever worn is in that like to know it profile link and i will see you in the next video bye